Good day, Sven the Slayer here once again, and welcome back to StarMaid. In this episode, I'm going to be covering what exactly AI difficulty does. So, you may have noticed by now that I'm not actually in StarMaid. I am just on a screenshot of StarMaid in my desktop. But, that's so I can actually show you this. So, here we have the launcher, and we click Start Game. And up here in the settings, we have the tutorial off, AI difficulty. So you may be wondering what exactly the AI difficulty setting does and how it affects your game. So we have four settings, easy, medium, hard, and mean. And what they do is they control one setting in your server.cfg. On easy, AI weapon aiming accuracy will be set to 10. On medium, the setting gets upped to 30. On hard, the setting gets set to 100, and on mean, it goes up to 1,000. So I'll be right back once I am in-game, and I'll show you exactly what this means. So here we are on StarMaid, and I have a little range set up with a turret. And the yellow line indicates the 10 meter 100% uh, accuracy. The orange line indicates um, yellow is easy, orange is the 30, um, medium, red indicates hard, and I accidentally shot the core once, and the black line indicates how accurate a turret and AI ship is when set to mean. So this is 100% accuracy at that range. So let's just go ahead and activate my turret. And you see, it it killed that core before I could even look at it. And it has trouble hitting the core at uh, 20 meters, but it can do it no problem. 30 meters. It's a bit of an issue. But it can do it. Now this doesn't... This shows the ability for a, a ship to actually core you. Um, hitting your ship and dealing damage at these ranges is, is, is a given. Um, but the further you go out, the less likely it is to get a, a strike on your core or any other vital systems. So, this is good for new players. Um, it allows you in your little fighter to challenge ships much bigger than your own, as long as you have the uh, DPS to take down shields and whatnot, which the stock Isanths do not have any rechargers currently. Um, but if you're going for turret gameplay, uh, this is not ideal, because your turrets will not be able to deal with enemy targets at all. See at the uh, just having trouble hitting that guy at um, 50 meters. So they can only hit reliably up to like twice their um, optimal range, and after that, it's just it's just a crapshoot. So you can see that awful spread. Now I will be back as soon as I can get set up with uh, medium. So here we are in the medium setting, and I should note that if you're using lock-on missiles, uh, lock-on missiles are deadly in every setting. It doesn't matter uh, what difficulty you are, you are using the um, Isanth Type 0 MB will be your biggest threat, so you're... Um, your key to guarding against those would be missile uh, radar jammers, and you can use them yourself um, because they don't uh, are not subject to the same inaccuracy penalty. So, let's turn this on. So, medium, no trouble killing the first. Do this? No, nope, nope, I'm still shooting. No trouble killing the first target. 
Second target, no problem. 30 meters, no problem. Still, uh, I guess it's 99% accuracy at 30 meters. Kills 40 meters, but misses a little bit. And starting to struggle at 50 meters, but can do so, no problem. 60, a little bit more struggling, and just beyond that, the it gets harder and harder to actually hit the target. But it's a single core, not a ship, um, so. And as you can see, it dispatches that with fairly easily. But it'll really struggle from here on out. So that's what the spread looks like on medium. Core drilling at combat distance, uh, 100 meters is probably good, uh, good distance to be facing off in like fighters. Probably don't want to get your capital ships that close though. Or whatever. What's the capital? So here we are lastly on hard difficulty. Ten meters, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, and a hundred has no trouble dispatching. Um, we saw one shot had missed because it's not a hundred percent accuracy. It's supposed to be ninety-nine percent accuracy. <coughs> And then beyond that, it's fairly decent at dispatching cores beyond. So, personally, I run my game on hard because I use a lot of cannon turrets and I like them to be useful. So you can choose your difficulty depending on how you want. If you want your turrets to be just absolutely mean you can set the AI difficulty to mean um, because what you saw that turret do to a hundred meters a mean AI difficulty will be able to do to a thousand meters which is all the way out here so you can see the see the spread from a hard at a thousand meters. <laughs> and you imagine that's um, any ship you're facing. And you guys are lucky you can't hear that bang bang bang. Still having easy time dispatching. So on the hard difficulty um, if you keep your distance from targets, you have a little bit of uh, ability to maneuver and fire off missiles. It's not an instant death. Uh, you still need good shields. Especially if they're using rapid fire like this. But these are 100% um, pierced, so they're doing tons of damage to the core. Because initially when I tried to do this, uh, the turret would drop the shields on my test target and it would it's still AI controlled so it would freak out and um, start spinning wildly. So I turned the turret into a, a pierce weapon to prevent it from doing that. So that'll about cover it for this video and how AI difficulty affects um, spread of AI weapon, AI controlled weaponry. And just just remember, missiles are king. <laughs> um, but also note, if you are using missile defense, you know, rapid fire missile defense, you will need a higher AI difficulty setting to um, 
actually have a chance to hit the missiles. So that's another thing to uh, keep in mind when choosing your difficulty. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you in the next video. And beyond that, it gets uh, increasingly difficult. Actually, this thing's going to run out of shields, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I don't care. See, I, I don't even think it's hit. Oh! Yep, yeah, it's been out of control now. Let's just get rid of it. <laughs> yeah, so...